Hello, Diploma students, and welcome to a new art lesson. Today we are going to be learning about an artist named Kandinsky. He was a Russian artist who lived from 1866 to 1944, and he is considered the pioneer of abstract art. Abstract art is art that is not realistic and it really focuses more on shape form and color so it doesn't represent like usually doesn't represent actual figures like things that you can identify um today this is our sample project and you can see there are lots of different shapes and squiggly lines and dashes and color and in a minute, I'll have you watch a video of Kandinsky's art. You'll recognize some of it because we did another art project um, with his circle before. But when we get to our project, I'm not going to show you my project again. Um, and when I'm demonstrating the project, I'm going to do each step on a different sheet of paper. But I want you to do each step on the same sheet of paper because I want our projects to turn out really differently. So abstract art is really open-ended, so it can be any way you want it to be. And I'm gonna give you some guidelines, but I, I'm hoping that yours will look very different and original from mine. Okay, so you are going to be using a lot of different colors. You'll need crayons or colored pencils or markers or something like that. I'm gonna use crayons. And then we're also going to really focus on overlapping, which means putting different shapes on top of each other or touching each other. So um, we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go through the project. But here are the things that you're going to be including in your art project. And I will tell these to you again um, once we get to the lesson. But just remember that I'm going to do each step on a separate sheet of paper, but you're going to do each step on the same sheet of paper so that at the end you'll have a whole abstract picture, kind of like, but totally different from my abstract art inspired by Kandinsky. So here are the, the different things you're gonna include in your project. Three circles, four more circles, a halo around one circle, five curved lines, three X's, a cluster of dots and dashes, two rectangles, two triangles, a tic-tac-toe, which is just two straight lines and two horizontal lines, and seven squiggles. So everybody's going to have the same elements put into their art, but each person's will look very different as a final project because there's so many different ways that you can arrange these different shapes and lines. All right, let's get started with the video about Kandinsky and his art. Okay, let's get started on our Kandinsky-inspired abstract art. And I'm going to just go through each step of what to add to your picture. And I'm going to do each one on a separate sheet of paper so that you're not able to copy the sample. I want yours to look totally different than mine. So the first thing we're going to do is draw three circles. And they can be any size you want and they can be all different sizes. They don't have to be the same size as each other. So one, and they don't have to be perfectly circular. Two, three. Okay, there's my three circles. Make sure you've done three circles. 
Next, we're gonna do four more circles, and I'm gonna switch colors. Again, these can be any size, and they don't have to be perfectly circular. One, two, three, four. All right. Next one is a halo around one of the circles, or kind of like, just like a colored edge around the outside. So just pick one of your circles, any of the ones that we've drawn and draw a bigger circle and then color that in. Again, you can choose any color you want to for each of these steps. We're gonna try to make it very colorful. All right, next step is five curved lines. So pick a color and I want them to be going in the same direction. That's how Kandinsky did his. And it's okay if, oops, let me get a new piece of paper. It's okay if, if your shapes are overlapping each other, that's actually good. Um, we want that overlapping, so don't feel like everything has to be separate. One, two, three, four, five. And if you did yours smaller than that, that's fine. If you did yours in a different direction, that's fine. I'm hoping that your picture will look very different than mine when it's all done. Okay, next thing to add is three X's. One, two, three, I'm going to do one tiny one. And again, it's okay if it's overlapping with the other shapes that you've already drawn. Next thing to add is a cluster of dots or dashes. So um, what I mean is just like a bunch of little lines that are all kind of like close to each other. Almost like maybe a firework going off. And they could be different sizes, different directions. Okay, next thing to add is two rectangles. One and two. Anywhere you want, any direction you want, it's fine if it overlaps. Next thing to draw is two triangles. One, two. They can be any size. The sides can be even or different sizes. Two triangles. Next thing to add. If I can get it. Is a tic-tac-toe design. So that's just two lines going down and two lines going across. And you can do it anywhere on your page. The next thing I'd like you to add is seven squiggles. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, so you have all of your shapes now and your lines on your paper and now it's time to go back through and just add color. So what I want you to do is look for the unique shapes that were created by overlapping other shapes. So like right here we have a kind of an interesting shape. I colored that in lime green. Um, right here is kind of an interesting shape created by the triangle and the curved lines. I did that blue. I want you to go back over your page and I want you to color in all the different spaces so that when you're done you have pretty much solid color. So I'm using the side of this orange crayon right here to just get some of this background colored in but this part would be after you've colored in some of these shapes 
around the other parts of your paper so that when you're done you have a lot of colorful um, abstract designs and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and I hope you guys are doing well I miss you and I'll see you soon bye bye